Hello, and welcome to today's video. So today I want to talk to you about gut health. And as, as, as I've got it kind of in the title, why is why has gut health always number one? It is so important. Like, if you don't know that gut health is important, first of all, like, what planet are you on? Like, is this the first time that you're seeing my videos or something? Because, like, <laughs> gut health is so important. But I want to re-emphasize it to you today, and I want to give you some kind of, like, actual examples, like, things that you can... When you're thinking like, okay, my gut health is important. Why? I'm going to give you some tangible examples so you can you can really understand and really emphasize why why your gut health is, is so important and why why I always start here because healing isn't just about gut health. You know, there's emotional work, there's trauma work, there's nervous system stuff, there's nutritional deficiencies, there's methylation, there's there's a bunch of other stuff. The reason that I put gut health so high on the list is. All of those other things are impacted by gut health, and, and this is what is so important, if you really understand how the gut works, you understand what your GI symptoms are trying to tell you, and you implement appropriate changes, you can literally change your gut health so fast. Like, literally, I'm talking, I don't, I don't want to get too excited here, because some things do take time to change. I have had clients that I've worked with. We've implemented changes, and in three to four days, 80% of their symptoms have improved. Not just gut-related, in other areas of the body. Mental health and mood, energy and, and fatigue, sleep. Like, your gut is so important. And the thing about symptoms is, your symptom is always trying to give you feedback that something is wrong. It's trying to, your, 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 your symptoms are intelligent and they're trying to communicate to you and they're trying to say, we need help here. This symptom means I need to make this change. But if you have symptoms and you don't know what they mean, it's going to drive you insane because you're just suffering. You're in pain. You have no idea why what is happening to you is happening to you, but you know something is wrong. You know, you don't. You don't go to the doctor. You don't go to the functional medicine practitioner. You don't spend like thousands on tests and supplements and all these different things because like everything's fine. You know something is wrong. The thing is the symptom is actually super intelligent and what is wrong, like the problem is encoded in the symptom. Like the symptom by its, by its very nature is an indicator of what is wrong. It's telling you where the dysfunction is. So if you can... If you can figure out what that message actually is and listen to it and then take appropriate action, symptoms change in literally like days, in weeks. We're not talking years. We're not talking like five years to heal your gut. We're talking you can get this managed. You can get your symptoms reduced. You can be feeling a lot better. And this is actually the best thing you can you can do to help you heal in the long run. Getting your symptoms under control, like as I just said, the symptom is a clue. It's your body saying... I need help here. I'm missing this. I'm missing this. This function in the body is struggling. It's not completing correctly. This job is not being done. I'm not, I don't have enough of this nutrient. Wh whatever it is, it's an indicator that something is off balance. So this is, this is why when you figure out what the symptom is, is telling you and you make appropriate changes. And I'm saying this in particular in the gut because things can change very, very fast. You know, stomach acid. So, Breaking this down into the five pillars, you've got stomach acid, digestive enzymes, bio, motility, mucosa, on a foundation of probiotics and a healthy microbiome. These five things, you can literally change them, I'm, I'm serious, overnight. Yeah, sometimes we have calibration, it takes time. But you can start changing the, the, these things overnight. You can literally, be, your gut can be in a completely different state of health, literally 24 hours from implementing the appropriate changes. And then... Yeah, you go through those times of adjustment. You've got to let things, you've got to let things settle. You've got to, like, you can't just go for a super high dose probiotic straight away. You have to build your dose up slowly. You have to, because again, if you take too much, then you get symptoms. And that's again, your body saying something's not right here. And it's you are then forcing it. You're pushing it too hard. And that's also not helpful. Healing works by working with your body and you, you're like a team, you know, your body and your mind. And your symptoms, like you're all on the same page, you're all on the same team, you're all working together, you're listening, you're communicating, you're collaborating, and the project that you're working on is your health. So if you take all of these parts, you listen to them, you communicate, and you know what to do with them, you know, if you've got symptoms and you don't know what to do about them, so if you've got reflux, if you've got constipation, 
if you've got like different symptoms in your gut and you're not sure what to do, the, this is actually really holding you back from healing long term. Because if you know what the symptom is asking you and you provide that support, whatever it looks like, not only does the symptom disappear very, very quickly, we're talking like days to weeks. We're not talking years. We're talking days to weeks. That change happens very, very quickly. But you now being in a higher state of health means you're going to heal. Like this function that wasn't being completed, which is why you were having the symptom, is now being completed. So for example, if you're, if you can't digest protein correctly because your acid balance is off, you provide that. Now you're assimilating protein correctly. You need proteins and amino acids for all of your detoxification functions, muscle building, your brain tissue is made of it. Like if that's off and you fix it, all of the downstream things that were being caused by that are now not being caused. So all of those symptoms go away and now your body is actually functioning again. And it's this being in this perpetual state of functioning that facilitates more health. It's kind of like this saying, you might have heard like the rich get rich and the poor get poorer. The same thing is true for health. The healthy people get healthier and the poor and the, the sicker people get sicker. Because just as when you get sick and it feels like everything is going wrong and it's like you've got a restrictive diet and you can't take the supplements because of this and it's harder for you to access this and obviously if you're sick, might, maybe you're struggling financially, like it compounds and it gets harder and harder and harder. And this is a big negative feedback loop. But this feedback loop is neutral. It's only negative because we're in the state of ill health. If you start to become healthy, it actually becomes a positive food back feedback loop instead. You know, say your stomach acid is struggling a little bit, your body redirects energy, it moves things around, you know, it can change things. So we need to figure out where this loop is stuck in a negative state and change it to a positive state. And if I'm, I'm, I'm serious, here. if you can hold a state inside your body where your symptoms are managed for a eight to 12 week period. And this is why I, this is where, when I'm doing a coaching program with somebody, it's a 12 week program because we're trying to do this. We can get you to the point where your symptoms are managed. And when I say managed, I mean, we aren't suppressing with medication. We're supporting the natural function that is not being completed correctly. If we support the function and we maintain that state, we hold that state, you get to a point where the body just fixes itself. And it sounds too good to be true, but why? You know, you get a cr uh, you get a cut on your hand, you get a scratch, you you spill some oil on yourself when you're cooking, you get a burn. You don't do a supplement protocol. You don't go to a. I mean, if it's a really bad burn, you might go to a doctor. But you, it just fixes itself. You know, all the all of all of all the doctors doing, all a good practitioner is doing, is figuring out what is stopping your body from healing, removing the obstacle, and providing the body with the environment that it needs to heal. So if your body isn't healing, if your symptoms are still existing, it's an indicator, it's a clue, something is still wrong and we still have something that we need to change and that we need to modify. And the reason that I always start with the gut is change, changes in your gut have uh, like a, compared to any other function in the body, your gut has the most profound impact on the most other areas in your body. All of your nutrients come from your gut. Every, every single nutrient that you use for every other function in your body proteins, amino acids, vitamins, minerals, all in your gut. 80% of your immune system is in your gut. Your gut flora is your first layer of your immune system. So all of that. Most of your neurotransmitters are can't either are absorbed through your digestive system or they're made in your digestive system by microbes that are present in your gut. Your gut has such a massive knock-on effect on everything. So getting that right is a really good foundation. And the reason that you start there is it's quite easy. And I, I don't want to say easy because... It could be a bit triggering, you know, especially if you've had a gut health problem for a long time and it makes you feel like not so good. You know, it's not, it's not, I don't want to say it's easy. It's, I would say it's simple. If you truly understand the digestive system, if you truly understand the intelligence of your body, if you truly understand the mecha the biomechanical processes that happen in the digestive process, this is like a conveyor belt machine Imagine a factory and you've got things moving through in a factory on a, on a conveyor belt. It's a formula, you know, it goes through this step, this step, this step, this step, and then you get the result. And your digestion is exactly the same. It's this step, this step, this step, this step, this step, and then perfect bowel movements, complete nutrient absorption, healthy microflora. It's a formula. So if you really understand the digestive system, you understand these, me these mechanisms, these steps, how the digestive system functions, and you 
you can use the intelligence of of the symptoms and you can perceive what the sim what the clue that the symptom is trying to give you it can show you where in this biomechanical process the machinery is not functioning correctly and then you correct it there and it's simple it's simple just fix what's broken and that's it you know if you've got five things that are working well and one thing that isn't Supporting those five things is going to do absolutely nothing for you. And this is, I usually see this in my clients. They come to me and is, let me know if this is you. you come to me, you've got a list of like 10 to 40 different supplements that you're on and more than half of them. You're like, I don't know if this is even helping me. That's a really good indicator that maybe this is a helpful supplement, but what makes a supplement truly powerful for you is whether it's actually helping you where your biomechanical dysfunction is. So if you've got, if you've got something that's not functioning and you support it, you're going to be like, wow, this is amazing. This is what I'm really trying to do with when I'm working with somebody is I want you to be on like maybe four or five supplements at the max. You know, I really believe if you're on more than five supplements, you're missing something. You kind of just throwing, it's like, you know, you're throwing the spaghetti at the wall to see if it's going to stick. You're just shotgun approach. Which does work sometimes, you know, I've been through thousands of supplements. Sometimes you have to go through that process to try and find some things that work. But if you're just staying on a bunch of stuff and you don't actually know if it's helping, you don't know if it's working, you don't know if this one helps or if that one helps, like they're probably not helping, to be honest. They're probably not. Instead, we need to find your small four to five supplements that are game changers for you. You know, you take it and you're like, wow, I feel this. You stop taking it and you're like, oh, I feel, I feel crap now. Something's missing. They're what you need. They're the, in, the, at that point, you're figuring out where the biomechanical dysfunction is and you're supporting it. And that's what you need to be doing with the supplements. So it doesn't matter if you've got five steps in this process that are working perfectly. Don't support those. Don't take supplements for them. It doesn't help. You're just literally throwing money in the bin. It's useless. But what you need to figure out where the biomechanical dysfunction is, figure out that one part that isn't functioning correctly and, and support it. Like build your whole protocol around that. Support that part in the process. So like for me, for example, stomach acid, not a problem for me. So looking at the gut and looking at it through the five pillars perspective. Stomach acid, no problem. Digestive enzymes, for me, big problem. I have a big problem there. So I support that. I use digestive enzymes as a supplement. I use fresh juice so I can provide extra enzymes. And I, I try and support my digestive process there. Bile, not a problem for me. Motility, not a problem for me. Mucosa, not a problem for me. I just have one fault. In, the, in my system now. I had a problem in all five originally. So I had a problem with all, all parts of this biomechanical process of your, of your digestive machinery. I fixed four of them, not a problem for me anymore. I literally do not even think about them. Like, just don't even think about them. They're not a problem. Like, they're not even in my consciousness. They're not even on my radar. Don't care, not important. They're just not problems for me anymore. And I'm on my last one now. And I'll, I just I just support this. So I'm literally on, I'm on two, basically two supplements. A digestive enzyme, and a, a folate supplement for an MTH far mutation that's a methylation thing. Anyway, so kind of sidetrack. What I'm saying is, if you're taking like a million supplements and you don't know if half of them are helping or not, if you've got like digestive problems, this could be like constipation, diarrhea, if you've got abdominal pain, bloating gas, distension, food sensitivities, you've probably got some really low hanging fruit. You've probably got a couple of supplements or a couple of like dietary changes or modifications or tweaks that you could make that literally would change your life, change your life in, I'm literally talking like days, days to weeks. I, so as I said, I had a client that came to work with me. He implemented changes from our initial consultation. Four days later, he messaged me and he said, 80% of my symptoms are gone already just through dietary changes and supplementation alone because it was targeted. His body was giving specific symptoms. I knew I was able to de determine what the symptoms were indicating where the dysfunction was. We, we build the program around that, build the protocol around that, symptoms change. And like a year down the line, he's like, I'm, I'm great. I'm doing better than ever. I, you know, I can eat whatever I want. Soup, soup. My gut's really good. Everything's fine. Everything's like fixed itself now. Cause we gave it the support. We held those symptoms in remission by using the protocol. And that just allows the body to build itself back up and to, to fix itself and to heal itself. And it, and it, and it does this. And I see this over and over again. This was, I'm using this example because this is like my best case scenario, you know, four days in, 80% of symptoms gone. It's not that simple for everybody, but it's still a repeatable formula. I am able to consistently deliver results in my one-to-one -one coaching programs of up to between, it's usually between 40 and 60% symptom reduction in 12 weeks. 
some people are super fast. Some people take a bit of a delay. Like, I don't know where you're at. Like, you could be as, as, as sick as I was, you know, bed bound, blind, on a diet of five foods. Yeah, you're probably not going to ch- change all of those symptoms in like four days. But if you're kind of what I would call like the walking wounded, you know, maybe you've got several symptoms, you still have a job, you're still working, you're still up on your feet, your life can literally change so quickly, like overnight with the right changes. And if you need help figuring out what those changes might be, I would be so happy to help you figure that out. Just let me know if you're interested and I'll shoot you over a little link. We'll book a call. We'll have a chat. We'll figure out your best plan of action moving forward and we'll get you feeling better as, as, as soon as possible. So if you, if you want my help, just reach out. Like I know I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm gut health dude. Like I only have one, one of my things that I have to work on left. Like I, I'm actually just a normal person that just had a bunch of problems that I went to see every different practitioner I could. Nobody really knew what was going on. So I just tried to figure it out by myself. I'm mean, literally just like a normal guy, just super, super normal. I'm like as normal as they come. I'll just, I, <laughs> I just want to help you understand why you have the symptoms that you have, what they mean and what you need to do about it. And like, this is one of the things I love about my coaching programs is I talk with people and they're just like, that makes so much sense. That's so, such an obvious thing now that you've said it. And this is it. Like, healing is simple. It's not supposed to be super complicated. You don't know. You don't need to know advanced biomechanical functions. You don't need to know all of the whole methylation cycle. You don't, you don't need to know. You just need to understand like a simple thing. I have a symptom. What does the symptom mean? What do I do to take care of the symptom? If you could just figure out that cycle and just continue applying that over and over again and just hold yourself, hold yourself in a state of good health, Healing is inevitable. You don't necessarily get to control how fast it happens, but if you just hold that positive state where your symptoms are as good as they can be and they're managed and the the function that is not functioning correctly is functioning correctly, you will heal. It just becomes inevitable. You just have to work at your body's pace and just allow your body to, to, to do its process. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. If you want to call, let me know. I'll send you over the details. I've got to go because I have another call coming up very soon. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.